What is up guys, it's Pablo, uh, director of the My Living Legacy vlog. In this episode, I'll be talking to you about my experience with working with Tyler. First and foremost, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. I hope you enjoy the holidays with your family and loved ones. Uh, I'm in beautiful Paris Mountain State Park and uh, I'll be talking about my experience with Tyler and everyone else in the office. Let me tell you, these past four months have been crazy for me. I never saw myself dropping out of college, dropping my four jobs, leaving my home at the expense of working for someone who I knew nothing about. Tyler was literally a stranger to me. And let me tell you, it has been one of the best things I've ever done in my life. You saw the daily bread, here's the new recipe. You can expect to see more transparency. 5,006 figure earners, this success to me. Giving the best of me, my living legacy. So we have teleported to Laredo, Texas, uh, my hometown. I have my beautiful girlfriend, Lizette, recording on my behalf because I'm driving. Um, but yeah, so the, the reason why this has been one of the best things I've ever done in my life is because working with Tyler has given me enough self-awareness to realize what it is that I really want to do with my life, with my profession. And uh, it, it all started, you know, here in, in Laredo, like, you know, creative creative people and, and creators overall are faced with criticism on a daily basis and one of the most like criticism that I would get um, would be that I was studying for something else other than filmmaking and uh, you know I, I was doing something that I wasn't truly passionate about studying criminal justice and a minor in psychology and uh, I I knew that people would think that I'm crazy because there's so much that I would be losing if I were to leave to Greenville. In reality, like it was just materialistic stuff and, and financial stuff. Like, yes, I did have four jobs and I was a substitute teacher and I was a camera operator for the school district and I was a video marketer for a um, for a local gym here in Laredo. And, and on top of that, I did my freelance work and I ended up doing political ads, commercials, you know, weddings and beauty pageants and all, all sorts of gigs. Uh, but in reality, I wasn't looking at the money like the money was literally the last thing I was thinking of when I made this, this uh, decision to work with Tyler. But you see, like success and, and everything just started to fall in place. And I realized that it happened so be because I decided to operate out of love. And that is the number one thing that, that I take uh, from working with Tyler that you see when 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 I was uh, when I was working with Tyler and, and I came across all of his, his platforms and his podcasts, I listened to the to this uh, one episode of, of the Salesman podcast and uh, Joseph. He mentioned that he, he said that when you operate out, out of love, you're operating in your, in your God like power. And I never really understood that until it, it clicked this, this one time that I was just, you know, like. I forgot if I was praying or meditating on it, and 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 I, I saw it. I, I I told myself like God is love. So when you operate out of love, you are in fact operating in your God-like power, and that is the the message that I've taken the most, that I've taken to the heart. You see, I take I take this back to when Jeffrey was teaching in high school, and Je Jeffrey was my high school teacher, and he left the school district to go to New York to work for Gerard Adams. Because that's what he truly wanted to do. He, he wanted to, to be a filmmaker and, and, and be a creative director. And uh, that was an action out of love. And as a direct result, he ended up in the exact same place at the exact time, at the exact moment to meet Tyler where they made the connection and Jeffrey, my, my teacher, made the recommendation so that I could become the new director of the vlog. And as a direct result, I left Texas and I left my video marketing job uh, for the gym to my friend Charlie. And now because of that, I opened him uh, some, some doors right there. And, and, and that enables for other people to, you know, experience more opportunities. And the bottom line is that on a, on a micro scale, it's almost as if it's not making a difference whatsoever. But on a bigger scale, you're making a world impact just by operating out of love and all sorts of good things start to happen. And uh, that is exactly what I'm trying to do now with my life. You know, I'm trying to live in truth and operating out of love and, you know, just trying to be the best version of myself because seeing Tyler work on a daily basis the way he does only 
pushes me and it inspires me to work harder myself. And as a result, you know, I've, I've started to run a couple of miles on, on a weekly basis and I've lost a lot of weight. I was kind of chubby if you look back in the, in the first episode and, you know, I, I started to create new healthy habits and, you know, just as a result, I've, I've become a better friend, a better boyfriend, a better son, a better brother. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds because really all sorts of wacky stuff is happening. And by wacky, I don't, it's not in a bad way, I mean in a good way. And I'm just, I'm happy, I am blessed. You know, the, the atmosphere in the office, it's really unfathomable. I cannot, I, I, I do not have enough words to describe the energy in there. Uh, when I transitioned over, you know, I, I, I had never left my, my family, my city, needless to say the whole damn state. And, and to go to a place where there's people that will accept you and will offer you things like they, they'll greet you with so much love and respect and re in reality like that's that's all we want like it's, we're, we're human creatures and we're driven to be accepted and, and we want the respect to be heard and that is exactly what I've gotten and they made it a very smooth transition for me and uh, I just was in, in, in a couple of days and a couple less than a week literally I felt comfortable enough to, to talk to everyone and you know just be accepted and so I, I appreciate everyone for that like I, I do not have enough words to describe how I feel uh, it's almost as if I, I hit the jackpot and I'm not trying to be cliche or anything but really like I, I had never met so many generous people all in one single building like huh, you know they they took me on a, on a trip to Mexico and I was only there for like three four months and I don't I feel like I wasn't even, you know, worthy of going to that trip because that trip is to, that trip was to uh, give back to everyone in the office for their hard work throughout the entire year. I haven't even been there for half a year, and uh, you know, you know they 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 took everyone from the office and their spouses, and after we came back. They did a meritocracy event where they greet, they, 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 they greet, they, uh, they, uh, give big checks to their best uh, agents throughout the year. And on top of that, the following week we had a uh, lunch together and we talked about gratitude and we, you know, like we read the same book and we, we meet like once a month to, to go over the chapter and see what we got the best from that book. You see all sorts of amazing things that happens only on a unicorn company and that that is where I landed I landed on a unicorn company and I am blessed and I don't take any single like I, I don't take anything for granted I enjoy every single minute that I'm there and I try I, I try to take as much like as much as I can from everyone and I'm just there to learn I'm just there to become a better person and so far I have and so yeah that that is my take on working with Tyler and working with everyone else in the office it has been a blessing really and um, you know we finished 2018 strong we're starting 2019 even stronger and I hope you guys set some goals and you execute on those goals and you finish 2019 stronger as well so with that I'll leave you guys um, to marinate that and, and hopefully it gives you more insights on and what it is to really work with Tyler on a daily basis. Uh, so God bless, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and we'll see you next time.